I'd like to dedicate this to all the baby mamas and all the baby mama dramas. All right, just kidding. But this is the pullout game, and we're going to look at some of the cards that I am collecting or investing in. And uh, since I started collecting again in 2020, this has been the biggest investment, or I guess the most focused investment for me since uh, I started I started again. So instead of going through the whole thing, I'll just yeah show you half at a time. You already guessed it. These are amazing rares. Amazing rares that started out in Vivid Voltage. And at first, they were super hyped. They are legendary Pokemon with this very rainbowy, colorful background that kind of extends outside of the out of the hollow area or the picture area. And they're just super cool. They don't look that well right now in the plastic in the top loaders, but these are pretty awesome. And yeah. Uh, some of these came out in Vivid Voltage, which was at the peak of the hype in 2020. And some of these came out later in the special set, Shining Fates. But nonetheless, they're all super cool. Try not to get that ring light in here. Yeah. And I got a bunch of them. And these were not... They nev they never been expensive, but they were never cheap either. Um, until now. <laughs> so, it is now... January 2022 and we just started this year and what I did was I went to a local game store and picked up even more now Celebi used to be like I think what anywhere between five to ten dollars uh, uh, went like just a year ago um, I picked up two of those Kyogres these are one of the ones that came out in Shining Fates it was never that expensive maybe like three to five dollars six dollars seven dollars from what i can remember raikou used to go around like nine fifteen dollars um the indeed my number my numbers might not be accurate but this is just from what i saw in the past and from what i can remember zacian another vivid voltage card uh that was probably like um i don't know under 10 bucks back then too but now these are super cheap celebi was like three bucks Kyogre was a dollar and a half, a dollar fifty. Raikou was uh, three to five dollars from the local store that I went to. Zacian's like two bucks now, three bucks. Zamazenta's like two bucks or a dollar. Evil Toll's a dollar for sure. That this is very probably one of the least favorite ones. Jirachi was one of the more was one of the more uh, um, expensive ones back then because I think it was actually playable. This used to be like 15 bucks, I think, 15, 20 bucks, but it's dropped all the way down to like six dollars, uh, five to six dollars. And Rayquaza has always been the most expensive and sought after one, uh, just because it's probably the most favorite Pokemon out of all these. And now, these for sure, I paid attention to this this guy, they're all six dollars, so I bought all of these for six bucks. I think about six of them for six dollars. These used to go for 40 when they came out, like on the release. And then they dropped down to hang around like 20 bucks for a while. And then they've just been decreasing ever since. And now I got them for $6. That's pretty insane. Because I really like these. They're really cool. And then bonus card, Skyla. I got that over there too. But we'll put that aside. Yeah, these are just so good in my opinion. Um, even though we, there's no way to predict if they're going to be super valuable in the future we don't know if pokemon's gonna make more amazing weird style cards we saw them bring um alternate arts and character cards back uh in sword and shield so you know it's always possible that they'll make more but like this stuff is very specific this rainbowy splashy type background that bleeds out of the card with um the holographic on the energies yeah and even the amazing rare sign right there um yeah i just even if these don't go up in price i don't really care because i really i really like them anyways so i do collect zacian and zamazentas so that doesn't even matter to me if they don't ever go anywhere and they're all legendary pokemon which is a plus because the legendaries always seem to um be fan favorites so um too bad they don't have mew and mewtwo but those those guys have their own cards they have a lot of cards already since they're Gen 1. Yeah, just wanted to show you this super cool um, 
you know, I, I this super cool deal that I was able to get. And it seems like the whole market has dropped. If you look at like, other other YouTube channels that talk about the stats and whatnot, every single chart, every line chart is like trending downwards. And everything is super cheap right now. Um, even booster boxes, like you can get Battle Styles and Chillin' Rain for 90 bucks, which is a steal. So I'm not really an investment guy. I, I don't I don't go that deep into it. I just do this for you know to do what I like. But just wanted to show this off to you, and it's gonna go to my other other collection here, my other pile here. So cool. Thanks. Uh, thanks for listening. And I don't know. I just gotta put some videos out there, right? So yeah, amazing rares. I'm taking a bet on these guys, and hopefully they do well. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like what I'm putting out, what I'm saying. If you like my dull personality and my monotone voice. <laughs> and if you like Jirachi, yeah, go ahead. Give it a like.